welcome to my villain voice. Mostly because I am obscenely sick right now, and the only reason why I'm even in at work is because I'm hopped up to the gills on some quality meds. Better living through chemistry. However, seeing as I've been like this for over a week now, and we still have weapon, uh, sorry, armor to review, we're gonna hop right into that. So, we've got some of the nice new Epic Armory Rogue stuff. Even losing my voice won't stop me from coming in and checking out new stuff, because as you guys know, I live for love. My life is the live action role. Oh my god, that is sexy. So, that's the front piece. And this is the back piece. So looking at the back piece and the way it's got those sort of uh, slots there and the, the belts coming through, there's gonna be a very adjustable set. It's clearly modular with the Merc set because as you know, Epic Armory likes to make its armor sets modular so you can mix and match. However, putting it all together very quickly is going to be very, very time consuming. Um, so to give you guys a brief idea of how it look. It's like, ooh, that's a sexy, sexy breastplate. I like it, I like it a lot. And with the strapping the way it is, you're gonna be able to actually add a heavier backplate if that's your preference. But it's meant to be rogue armor. It's made of hide. Uh, uh, it's not gonna jingle jangle when you move. And that's what you want. So, we've got other parts of it as well. The parts I'm particularly excited for right here, the braces. Oh wow, this one's really well done. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. Check that out. Heavy rogue bracer. So you've got your nice elbow cop there with this nice angular leather work. If you come in close, you can see uh, the leather work is actually held on with some really nice complex looking stitching. Let's, uh, oh, nope, wrong side. So the, uh, the wrist strap is obscenely long. I don't think anyone has wrists quite that thick, but uh, the forearm section is good. It is meant to go over a Gambi too. Even with the Gambi, no one's got wrists that thick. Oh, it's so sexy. Check that out. Oh, can you imagine like accidentally someone? It's like the best of bands, but, but stealthier. Oh my God. This, uh, this reminds me of the sort of stuff that you see on Etsy that looks amazing and you'd buy it if it wasn't for the fact that it ends up being 120 bucks in shipping alone. Oh, I'm so glad that we are getting some really cool armor designs coming out this year. So, we've seen the arms, let's check out the legs. Oh, of course, I should have actually said something about what it was like to wear the arm, huh? So, uh, I know I'm not wearing a gap, so at the moment it's quite thin, but I didn't feel like my elbow was restricted in the slightest, um, and unlike some of the braces that I've worn in the past, because there was so much room around the wrist, there was actually still quite a fair bit of movement. Sorry, I'll try to remember uh, to give an idea of what it's like to wear one of these greaves whilst I'm still wearing it. Oh. oh, it's a full leg too. You could wear something like this during cricket. And it matches my aesthetic so nicely. So we've got, uh, oh, there's extra strapping as well compared to some of the other full leg sets, that's good. So we've got a strap behind the knee right from the get go. Get us held in place. As you can see, we've got the Imperial Gambison type mounting points there, so you'll be able to mount to some hard pants, or if you've got um, 
pseudal tacits. And as you can see, once again, the knee continues with that really nice sort of uh, fabric stitched in section to the leather work. see there's like some little strips of leather in places that you know not only look decorative but are actually functional this bit of leather here is to prevent this bit of metal clicking against this bit of metal let's see how well that actually works my movement is not restricted at all uh, actually that's not entirely true if I attempt to lean forward there is some pushback against my thigh however I can't imagine many people in uh, a heavy combat situation needing to lean forward. It's really more if you're attempting to like lean around a corner and, and slit a throat, which I guess is a thing you would be doing wearing heavy rogue armor, uh, that that might issue some kind of problem. Uh, ankle movement seems fine. That's a, that's a really good sign, actually. All right, what else have we got in armor? So the soldier's torso is basically super simple tin can. Uh, we've had a bunch of people say that they want something around the cost of the Merc armor, but they wanted full steel. So the soldier's torso is what we've come up with. Being steel, obviously it's not as adjustable as the leather backing straps, as you can see uh, from the section of the rogue armor. But it does come in three sizes, including uh, the sizes for the larger laughers. If uh, you're familiar with Ash or Tom, our larger size of the soldier breastplate actually does fit them. Rock scissors for a wreath, isn't that good? Right, seeing as these are going to be greasy as hell under here, and it doesn't really change much to open them up from the grease at this point. Uh, front plate, back plate, as you can see, very simple leather strapping system. Unlike previous Epic Armory breast and back plates, this one does not have mounting points on the shoulders. There is a separate gorget, which I'll crack out in a second. So let's uh, let's quickly do some of this up, try it on, see how it goes. Uh, the art of self-squiring, knowing exactly which buckle you need to go to in the first place when you put on half of the armor. Because sometimes at laugh, it gets a bit lonely and you have to do things for yourself. Come on. Actually, I'm not entirely certain where I should be placing the uh, straps on the shoulders, given that normally there would be shoulder point up here that I would be mounting to. So the shoulder section is a bit of a guess on my part. Um, I do have a giant head, so if I do off the neck already. Okay. Oops. Worst case, we can use movie magic and then get you into it properly first, and then cut back in. I don't know. I think part of the appeal of Epic Armor stuff is the ease of self squaring. See, there we go. I mean, a lot of. A lot of people at LARP are unfortunately not the greatest socially uh, and it makes it very difficult to make friends who would be comfortable in the personal space required to squire someone effectively. Now, the flip side of that is that there are plenty of people who are at LARP that are totally cool with that anyway and really it's just, you know, your, your own inner demons telling you that sort of stuff. But at the same time, being able to perform self-squiring if you are a sort of person who makes it very difficult to, uh, you know, approach people for the kind of physical proximity required to get into armor whilst you're all hot and sweaty. Alternatively, also, if you're the kind of person who travels to LARP. That's true, yeah. If you go to interstate LARPs, you're probably not going to have many friends already. Uh, or international ones, you're going to have even fewer. 
So you know, being able to self squire is actually quite good. But okay, so I've missed I missed this one. Um, that's my fault. I can I can feel it there, but I screwed that one up. But the point is that this is actually on in pretty much the correct spot for me. Um, I managed to do it fairly intuitively straight out of the packet. As you see, that was fresh opened. Um, it's pretty comfy. There's a little bit of restriction here, like so if you're trying to you know, go in for the bear hug or something, that's, that's not happening. Uh, but, you can still bend over, you can still touch the toes. Ah, if I raise up like that, it does dig in a little here. Now I have a feeling that's because I've done these up too high, but at the same time, if you're wearing a mantle or a gambeson, that little bit of pushback against your neck is not going to happen anyway. Like, it'll happen, but it's not going to be as unpleasant as it is for me with my neck that is currently full of, uh, you know, whatever it is that I've got. And don't worry, anyone that is buying any of the armor that I'm showing today, we will blend 20 everything. But yeah, oh, no, don't take it off, Arby. You've still got to show them the gorge. Thank you, other Arby. Cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, the um, soldier's set is meant to basically be a nice, cheap, simple tin can solution. So if you're one of those people who's trying to like min-max your character on a budget, uh, you know, this is probably going to be a good set for you. Damn it, I am going to have to take this out. So as you can see, it's designed to mount to the Imperial Gorget mounting system. Uh, so you can put on either, you know, like the, uh, the new splint shoulders, the new soldiers, shoulders. Obviously you should be able to put on the soldiers, shoulders, the soldiers go shape. Um, but it would also be very, very simple to attach uh, a leather loop with a couple of rivets if you're the sort of person that wants to be able to attach the older style uh, classic Epic Armory uh, mounting points. So just the front, I'm going to assume that this way. Oh, my hair. I don't need to wash it so much. So oily. Back to the front. Back to the front, are you sure? The one that sits more flat down is the only one at the back. Yeah, that does feel more natural, you're right. Thank you, Tom. Ah, hair stuck. Uh, would have helped if I'd taken the uh, buckle out of its plastic. So once again, the ease of self-squiring this is uh, mostly only foiled by my own luscious hair. So let that be a lesson to you lapas. Never look good. Never take pride in your appearance. Shave yourself bald. No, don't. Don't. You want to look good. You want to be comfortable with who you are. If you need to be able to windmill so hard that people six feet away in the mosh pit can taste your hair, you do you, fam. Okay, so there's a bit of movement in the gorget now that I've got it on. Sitting uh, high. Sitting high, is it? Okay, I might have done it up a little bit too tight then. Um, but yeah, once again, I have a feeling that the movement would be uh, negated by me having either a mantle or a gamson on around my neck. Or even just something attached to the shoulders. Oh yeah, even just some shoulders weighing it down. After all, the um, the soldier's shoulders would mount to that part and then they'd tie in around the bicep, which would actually keep it fairly low until you raise your arms up like that, which we've already discovered is not a great idea when you're wearing the rest of the soldier's kit. Um, that being said, it was super easy to get on. Uh, it's a nice basic neck plate. It's gonna protect your clavicle. Um, be problematic putting a bevor on top of this though. I think uh, you've got the choice of either this or the bevor. Um, if you're no, going the leather would work all right. The leather bevor? Yeah. Oh no, I think it would look fine. I think you'd have problems getting it on. Yeah, no, I think the leather would sit okay on it. Okay. I don't think so much the metal though. Because the leather will form a bit better too. Hold it right there. Oh, never mind. That is not bevor. <laughs> I ran off to get what I thought was the, uh, the Noble Bevor, and it turns out that it's not. So, uh, hmm. Hmm. 
So yeah, uh, I'm rather happy with these actually. Uh, I should probably take them off and uh, quickly scrub them down in something sanitary. And then I am going to go and convalesce behind my desk, which is managerial talk for whiskey. We'll see you on the battlefield.